everybody, it's Lindsay Gramont, the homemade mommy, and I am scoping today from Austin, Texas. Who wants to learn how to make cheesecake in their Instant Pot? Figured I'd hop on, I'm making it anyway, and you guys keep telling me you want me to do more scopes of my recipes, so here you go. So I am again Lindsay Gramont, the homemade mommy, and I blog over at homemademommy.net. Please let me know where you're watching from, and I'm gonna get started here with the recipe and show you how super easy it is. Hello everyone. Okay, good morning. It's bright and early this morning. I gotta make this now so that it's nice and cool for dinner tonight. So I wanna be able to pop it in the fridge. I have got two eight ounce packages of cream cheese in my mixer right here, and I'm gonna add in a half a cup of raw honey to start with. And I'm gonna cream those together and hopefully it won't be too noisy and you'll still be able to hear me. I've got the mic on me and not on the mixer. Um, so you wanna cream the sugar, whatever sugar you're using, I am using raw honey, but you could use granulated sugar if you wanted to. Okay, get that going. Hi, you made this the other day, awesome. So yes, you can make and bake things in your instant pot what you're going to need to do though is put a cup of water at the bottom and use the rack that it comes with hi Allie and that way let me get this going that way it will go ahead and steam I do post my recipes and I'll post this on YouTube and I will put it on my blog too okay so we've got the cream cheese and the honey going together and they look pretty well combined so I'm going to turn this down a little bit and I'm going to add in two eggs and an egg yolk. Thank you for whoever's sharing that. Yes, my blog is homemademommy.net. Two eggs, there we go, one, two, and then I'm also going to add in an egg yolk because, I mean, Egg yolks are awesome. There we go. I'm gonna separate the egg in the shell here and dump in that extra egg yolk to make this more rich and delicious. And then I'm gonna add in three tablespoons of, um, of sour cream, but I'm not really gonna measure it that closely because I roll that way. So through about three tablespoons, that should be about that, of sour cream is going in. And then I'm gonna add in a teaspoon of vanilla. There you go. And a tablespoon of lemon juice. And then I'm gonna add in also, I'm just gonna, I wanna give the lemon juice for a little bit of acid. And then I'm gonna use lemon essential oil to really amp up the lemon flavor and so that I don't have to zest a bunch of lemons because I don't really have time for that right now. But first I'm gonna add in a pinch of salt. You always wanna add salt to your baking recipes because it's gonna bring out the flavor. So it's not gonna make it salty. Okay, I just wanna get this all incorporated here. Okay. Now, I'm gonna turn this down and put in the lemon essential oil and I'm gonna do 10 drops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight, nine, ten, to make it super lemony. Let's see if we can get that all incorporated. Okay. I think I got everything. When I'm on videoing with you guys, I tend to forget things. But I think that's everything. Now, I'm making this as a crustless cheesecake because... Um, I don't really have anything here that and that's gluten-free or whatever. I, I'm not a huge fan of the gluten-free shortbread or anything like that. Um, so I just I just prefer to do it crustless. I don't really see any reason why I need a crust. It tastes delicious regardless. So I'm gonna get this off. Here first, I'm gonna taste it. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, that's good. That's really good. <laughs> okay. So now I've got all of this yummy batter in here. Can you guys see that? Who wants to lick this bowl right now? I need to actually, the sides, still have some cream cheese here. Oh, well, let's stir this up a little more just to finally incorporate it. You guys want some? Yes. <laughs> I want this too right now. This is so yummy. Oh my goodness. It's very lemony, but it still has that nice lemon acid because I added the um, tablespoon of lemon juice. And I'm going to pour it in to this uh, bowl I have right here, this cake pan. So I bought a silicon seven inch cake pan and that is what I'm gonna pour this in and then I'm gonna set it into the Instant Pot and I'm gonna set it for 25 minutes at high pressure. So you push the manual button and then it should say 30 and you just push down five times to get it to 25 minutes. Let me wipe my finger off here. And then I'm going to wait 10 minutes and then I'm going to open it myself. So I'm going to do what's called natural um, pressure release. And I'm going to put a towel over the little pressure release valve. And I'm going to open it after 10 minutes. And then this should be done. I'm going to put it in the fridge and let it set up. Um, some people cook their cheesecakes for less time. So 15 minutes would mean that it's kind of more of a light, um, not so dense cheesecake. But I don't know about you but I love Carnegie Deli's cheesecake and it's really dense and thick and that's the consistency that I wanted and I heard that if you cook it longer, then it will have that nice dense um, flavor and you know, texture to it. So I'm doing mine for 25 minutes and we'll see how that goes. So I will post a final time on my blog with this video when um, I get finished and I see how much I like it. You put a cup of water into the Instant Pot, and I've already done that, and I've got this trivet in here. This is the rack that comes with the Instant Pot, and I've got a cup of water at the bottom. And so I'm just going to pour the batter into my cake pan here, so give me a second. And whether it comes out of this thing or not, I personally don't care. I just didn't want to use a non-stick spring form pan, and I've never been able to find one that is not non-stick so my family and I will be happy to eat this out of the cake pan if it doesn't come out um, but you guys are welcome to pour this into a seven inch spring form pan it's just all of them out there have that non-stick coating on it and it's really not my preference to buy any pans that have the non-stick coating on it these days anymore so I didn't want to do that um, if you ever find a seven inch one that doesn't have you see, somebody's commenting that maybe they did find one, so maybe I'll go and buy that one. Um, a stainless steel one or something like that. So, I'm just going to pour it in here. No crust, just awesome cheesecakey goodness. And that is the end of that. And we will eat it with a spoon if it doesn't come out. But I have a feeling it probably will. And then I'm going to just put this in here. There it is. It's in the pot, guys. All right, I'm going to go start it, and it'll be done in about 35 minutes, maybe 45 minutes because it's got to pressurize, and I will post this video and the recipe on my blog, and you're going to want to join my newsletter so that you can get this in an email shortly. Um, well, maybe not shortly, maybe next week, um, but you can join my newsletter at the bottom right of my site at homemademommy.net, or you can text the word HM News to the number 33444. Have a wonderful day, you guys, and I will see you next time. Bye.